we are now sitting in the test center facilities from ESTEC and the PLM, the payload module, which is the ESA provided element, is now in the FB building, which is just behind us. This is the first project uh, I follow up to the launch, hopefully, <laughs> yes. Um, on the project controller side, uh, I'm used to work and interact with the European industries. I also have to assume some other roles that I'm not, I was not familiar with them before, so allow, like uh, logistics, inventory, all the tasks that are not technical but that need to be done in support for the project manager and the team. last year was one of the, the most important periods really because this is when the, the flight instruments went through their final testing right, and uh, uh, calibration activities and then the delivery to, to ESA and to, to Airbus in Madrid as well and that was also the period in time when the instruments were installed on the PLM, the payload module, and then the testing on that uh, payload module environment has started and is, is ongoing and almost completed by now. It's the last uh, FM model on the PLM, so it's very good for, uh, for us, very good feeling. We had to start uh, not from scratch, but almost, uh, let's say, three years ago, and in three years uh, to manage to have an FM uh, ready and installed on the PLM uh, flight model, it's, uh, it's really a good achievement, I think. So, that's it. <laughs> We have the magnetometer with the magnetometer boom and we had a very exciting moment last week when we did the boom testing which was not 100% successful at first. The release went all very well, uh, it moved fine but in the end the boom unfortunately didn't lock. But we very quickly actually found the cause of that. It was just a harness that was too stiff and not mounted uh, correctly. So it didn't have, mechanically, it didn't have a chance to lock in the end. It was fixed very quickly. And the day after, we had the successful boom release as well. So that is all fixed, and everybody's happy with that as well. Two, one, go. We have the SXI instrument, of course, the, the large X-ray imager that we have integrated, mounted a few months ago in Madrid at Airbus directly, like all the other instruments. And we have the two LIE instruments, those are light iron analyzers. They have been delivered a few weeks ago uh, and that are stored now at, uh, in our clean room. And those are waiting for the platform, so for the, the rest of the spacecraft to arrive, because that is the only instrument that's not mounted on the PLM, but that's mounted on the spacecraft directly. So we have to wait for the spacecraft before we can, can integrate it and mount it there. The platform will come on a dedicated flight from China, directly from Shanghai. Uh, it will be moved here into our clean room and also uh, a large number of people from uh, IMC, that's the Shanghai Institute that has built the platform. They will also arrive uh, to the inspection, incoming inspection, to the functional testing that they have to do. And then uh, about the integration of the PLM with the instruments on top will go on top of the spacecraft and it will it will, for the first time, be a complete spacecraft that we are dealing with. Today is a very important day uh, for the payload module and the platform will be integrated for the first time. At last, you can see the whole satellite now. ESA has a standard uh, and we have the standard, uh, but we cooperate together. But uh, sometimes we cannot uh, totally follow ESA's standard. Uh, this is a, a little difficulty. Uh, and we finally uh, to solve this problem by the definition of the interface. And both sides uh, should agree. The devil is always in the details. Yeah. So uh, once you see the hardware, then you, you see some uh, little things that you could not predict before. 
and uh, yeah, it takes a little bit of time to discuss between all the parties, but we found a solution, so I hope we start soon. The whole team cannot come here totally. Uh, according to the current work, for example, today uh, we will make uh, integration and then mechanical engineer will be here for, for the integration. So we must schedule uh, the project very uh, precisely and then we can organize uh, the whole team to come here and not waste uh, the time. It's a challenge for, for me and David, for the project manager. So we are happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it, it is uh, a huge milestone. It makes me really happy. <laughs>